they contrast black levels and of course the paper thin panels. My name is Sweebless and I'm a content creator. So what really makes it stand out is the fact that you can turn on and off every individual pixel, which means that you get a really outstanding blackness and contrast between the bright and the black in the picture. So the TV supports Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos and Filmmaker Mode, which combined creates an amazing cinema experience. When I watch my content, it is very important for me that the colors are accurate and feels realistic and true to what the filmmaker, what the filmmaker's vision was when they created it. When I watch three media, like a YouTube video or maybe even an old movie from the 90s, I feel like this TV really hands it so well. And that is because of the processor and the way the processor is upscaling the image quality. So one of the key features is HDMI 2.1. And what's so good with that is they can transfer a large amount of data over a quick bandwidth. And it is also compatible with all the new consoles and devices. So since I really love everything that has to do with smart homes, one thing I love with this TV is the fact that it has the ThinQ AI. That means that I can control it with many other devices, such as my phone or my computer. It can even talk to my refrigerator and the washing machine. So what I really, really like with the Magic Remote is the fact that I can just pick it up, aim it at the TV and then make it do my bidding. Also, the nifty little button where I can just uh, click the microphone and talk to it and also voice control my TV is so nice. So as a gamer, something I really appreciate with this TV is the different game modes that you can have. Um, FreeSync, G-Sync, the really low input light and like I said before, the fact that you can actually connect all consoles and devices to it.